An Israeli airstrike on the densely populated Jebelia refugee camp in northern Gaza killed and wounded many civilians and caused significant material damage. The Israeli Defense Forces said the attack was aimed at a Hamas commander. According to IDF spokesperson Lt. Colonel Richard Hecht, the Israeli army had killed Ibrahim Biori, one of the masterminds of the October 7 attack on Israel. However, Hamas has strongly denied that one of their leaders was present in the refugee camp. Hamas spokesman Hossam Qasim accused Israel of trying to justify a horrific crime against civilians, children, and women who were safe in the Jebelia camp. The Interior Ministry in Gaza reported that 20 homes in the Jebelia refugee camp had been completely destroyed. The director of the local hospital, Dr. Atef al Kalout, told CNN hundreds of dead and wounded were brought to the Indonesian hospital in Gaza, many of whom were still under the rubble. Another doctor, Dr. Muhammad Aran, described it as a scene that no one could imagine at the hospital. At least 8,485 people have been killed in Gaza since October 7, according to an update on Tuesday from the Palestinian Health Ministry based in Ramallah. West Bank, citing data from Gaza controlled by Hamas. In addition, more than 21,000 people have been injured. The ministry said that about 73% of the deaths were women, children, and the elderly. According to the White House, at least 66 trucks crossed the border into Gaza in the past 24 hours, the highest level of aid delivery in a day to the territory in history. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken announced that the United States is trying to deliver 100 trucks into Gaza every day. Before the conflict broke out on October 7, 450 trucks entered Gaza a day.